A railway is on the northwestern known a railway is on the Sudrian Isle known as the SKR, which stands for the Scarlowy Railway. It has many engines like Scarlowy Renaeus, Sir Handel, Peter Sam, Rusty, etc. Today one day Scarlowy and Renaeus were, were well Scarlowy was going to get a passenger train, Renaeus was shunting some wagons, Rusty was sitting in a siding doing waiting for maintenance, and Ivo he was shult was shunting a van full of supplies. Next to them a standard gauge engine was leaving with with some supplies that had just been loaded into their into the engine's car from Renaeus. And he was he was he swapped lines and was now next to Scarlowy. They were both waiting patiently when they heard some they heard a noise dra- 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 go through the, the area. Then an unfamiliar green small tank engine pulled in. It was carrying two cars. Everyone, this is Tim," said Mr. Percival. He will be a new addition to the railway. He will be helping since um, Sir Handel and Peter Sam are doing ma- are having routine maintenance check, and some of the other engines are busy right now. The only engines we're having on this railway are Sarlowe, Renaeus, Rusty, Ivo, Hugh, and Duncan, as well as Tim. Now, now. I need you all to try to make sure Duncan doesn't give any snide remarks to our new fr- friend on the railway. Ew, what is this? Oh no. Ugh, this small engine. Green. What a terrible color. It should be red. That thing that's the killer of our railway, isn't it, sir? Why did you purchase this engine? Duncan, that's enough. This engine will be working with us on the railway as Sir Handel and Peter Sam are in the works for their for their boiler. Certificate has expired. Oh, I whatever. I'm gonna get back to school. Goodbye, y'all. And Duncan rolled away. Well, he didn't hurt him yet. <sighs> Give it time, said Tim. The engines were flabbergasted about this. But then, Renaeus saw something on the side of his tank. Thirteen. And it was April the the. 12th, and soon the next day would be Friday the 13th. The next day soon arrived, and the engines were peacefully sitting in the sheds. Duncan knew it was Friday the 13th, and he soon saw Tim. 13, eh? Well, good luck. You're gonna need it. (laughs) Oh, shut up, Duncan. Ah, he's got away. I'm a plain and I'm a plain speaking engine, and I believe in plain speaking. So you know that this is my plain speaking attitude. Yeah, one for a bonehead. Ah, shut up! And Duncan simmered away. Just ignore him, Tim. Said Renaeus. He can be very rude. He used he used to tease Ivo Hughes so much. And now Ivo, he's very agile. Hmm, I'll try to deal with another one of them. Another one? Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) Oh, Rusty. So Jim had collected some cards and was going to collect some stone and ballast. Soon Tim arrived at an area where where there was a gravel loader. It wasn't too busy. Duncan was idling in a siding. Ivo Hugh had just come to pick up some flat bids and nothing else in that interesting had been happening. He parked, he tried to park his cars under the chute and he soon did. But then 
something happened. His driver was quickly gonna back up and sit down, but then he accidentally moved backwards. Suddenly, Tim was under the ballast hopper. Well, and he just fell down. When the dust and smoke clear, a huge mess was revealed. Ivo Hugh's flatbeds had a little few rocks in them. Duncan had a rock on his had some rocks on his boiler and cab. And Tim Rock was all over him. He and his first car were derailed. The first car had a few rocks in it. Some rocks were in his funnel, on his boiler, on his cab, and in his wheels. And in and it was and it was blocking the rails. It was a huge mess. So, what do you think now about Ben Jinks? said Duncan. And he puffed away, and the rocks began to fall off him. I'll go get help, said Ivo here. And he quickly rushed away. Soon, Rusty arrived, and he brought the breakdown train, as well as, as the vehicle had arrived. Ivo Hugh coupled up to his flatbeds and soon left. The rocks and pebbles were removed, and soon everything was in action. Unfortunately, Tim, Tim's funnel was full of rocks, which was a big problem. Rocks were take, taken away and used for other parts. Tim had some rocks stuck in between his boiler and funnel, and he would have to go get and the, and Rusty would take him away. I'm so sorry, Tim. Mm, don't worry. And Tim was taken away. He didn't actually take long, as the only thing that happened was it was his funnel had to have a nice clean out. Nothing was damaged, and soon Tim was back to work in the same day of Friday the 13th. Duncan, hold on, Duncan had been spreading rumors that Tim had had a huge, had, had gotten stuck in a huge avalanche. Of course they knew that they, they weren't true. Arloy and Renee coupled up to their coaches and soon set off. As they had been doing, we were going to do the passenger trains. I will Hugh had finished his, his run of, of bringing supplies to the standard gauge railway and he had left the flatbeds on a siding. Duncan put, put the cars away and he would go pull a passenger train now. Lolo and Renee had finished their passenger runs and Duncan soon coupled up to a pair of coaches. Duncan, slowly but surely, set off with the coaches. They were in tow. Come along, you pieces of rubbish. Come along, you pieces of rubbish. We're coming along, you big fat moron. We're coming along, you big fat moron.